So, uh, hi everyone. This TV is a, uh, it's a Sony 55 inch uh, TV. It uh, has a 4K resolution. Um, it supports HDR, 120 Hz. Um, and the problem is, is when we, when, when, well, the owner, when, when they turned it on, it, um, it turns on for a while and probably like around eight, ten seconds, it'll uh, shut itself off and it will give uh, four bl red blinking lights, which points out to a backlight error. Um, I've looked at it and um, while it was like turn, um, turning on, uh, when it, it was trying to turn on, um, I've looked at the uh, backlight and it seems like it probably has maybe one um, uh, one LED not working. So basically all the, the, the it's still like it, it can still function without all the, uh, the backlight being replaced. So um, one way that we can circumvent this um, error is for us to bypass the, um, the backlight check, which uh, is what I would do right now. But first we need to open this TV up. Okie dokie. Okay, so this is uh, the um, what it looks like, um, like zoomed in. So uh, I've cut the trays right here around uh, pin number four. It looks like pin number three, but pin number one is actually here connected to ground. This is pin number two, three, and four. So pin number four is at the start of the TV of the, the television. At the start of the television, um, 
there's a voltage check and if uh, basically this checks if the uh, it has the same readout as ground so um, easiest way for the vo voltage check for the backlight voltage check to be bypassed is for the, uh, one to, cu to cut this and um, what I did here is I've uh, I've taken off a part of the uh, of the um, the coating of the the trace here, and I've I've soldered this to the ground right here. Um, therefore, fooling the uh, the startup um, process um, and and the TV working. Um, so this is uh, what the um, the inverter board inverter board looks like um, from like zoomed out. If you have the same one, um, this is the uh, fix that you're looking for. Um, this is when I've cut this uh, pin number four, and this is what it looked like after. So um, uh, this is the soldering that I've soldered the wire from here to the ground, and I've just put some tape right over there, and then that's basically it. Um, very cool.